A couple of fun sounds that can be made just with an envelope. Have you ever heard reversed guitar? You can do that with an envelope on your amplifier. Sounds like this. It makes sense. Slow attack, immediate release, which would be the reverse of how you normally play guitar. You hit your guitar, immediate attack, now it rings out. Let's say you don't care at all <laughs> about shaping the volume of your synth with an envelope and you just want it to be full blast all the time. Like for instance, if you're playing a uh, synth bass line. Well, in that case, this is essentially how to defeat the envelope on your amplifier. So no attack, full decay, which means basically no decay, full sustain, again, just a consistent volume. And then if you really want it to be just a pure kind of organ on off sound, zero release. If you want to add just a little bit of a tail to that same full on sound, you can trump the release a little bit. The first thing you want to do is get your attack right. Do you want your sound to come in right away or do you want it to gradually fade in? To me, decay is more about after my sound has come in, how present do I want it to continue to be in my mix or in my composition? If you want to make a sudden impact and then kind of get out of the way, make your decay pretty short, bring your sustain down so you get kind of that thing. Or if you want it to really be present all the way through, again, extend the decay, keep the sustain high, and let it ring through. Now, extreme examples of envelopes. If you're trying to get a really, really clicky, percussive sound, turn your decay all the way down so that essentially the envelope closes right away with zero sustain, so you get these kind of sounds, and these are super fun if you have an arpeggiator or a sequencer or you're sending MIDI to your synth to get a, a repeating pattern going. And all I'm gonna do is change the decay. That's pretty cool. But now let's let's keep evolving the envelope. We're gonna increase the attack time. And increase the release. And increase the sustain. Okay, so so far we looked at how to shape the volume of your synth patch with an envelope. The same concepts apply to the envelope that modulates your filter. So again, attack, decay, sustain, release. But this time, instead of shaping the volume of your sound, we're going to shape the filter, the cutoff, the frequency of the sound. Okay, immediate attack. Long decay, no sustain, a little bit of release, modulating the filter. Pretty straightforward. Here, conceptually, one aspect of this that to me was a little hard to wrap my mind around at first is the relationship between where you have your filter knob set and how the filter envelope shapes the amount of high frequency. Here's what you need to know. In the filter section of your synthesizer, generally, there is a knob called envelope, or in this case, EG intensity. Uh, and what it's doing is it's saying, how much should the envelope impact the setting of the filter knob? As you turn up that envelope knob within your filter settings, you're adding. 
to wherever the filter cutoff is set. So if your filter is set at a maximum of two and you add three on the envelope dial, what you're saying is the maximum setting for my filter knob is five. So you're adding more high frequencies to your filter. So if you've got your filter set kind of low and you're playing with envelopes and it seems like it's really, really bright and you can't figure out how to sweep it back down so it's kind of dull, remember that you're adding high frequency content when you turn up the envelope. So let's just demonstrate that real quick. Low, cut off, pretty dull. All I'm doing is turning up the envelope and you can hear how it starts to add in. Frequency spectrum again, low frequencies, high frequencies. You're setting your cutoff point and that becomes the, the default. As you increase the envelope, knob in your filter, you're saying to the synth, hey, here, here is the new max. It's the original max from the cutoff, and then depending on how much I dial in, here's the new max. And then the envelope tells the synth how quickly to go from here to here, which is the attack portion, how, how quickly to then go from here back down, and then when you take your finger off the key, how quickly to close the filter all the way off. Low cutoff, high amount of, of envelope modulation on the filter, and we can hear how the shape of the envelope affects the filter over time. So what's happening there is the volume envelope is saying, start the sound right away. But the filter envelope is saying, ah, not so fast. We're going to get brighter over time. The two envelopes are going to work together. So if you have no release on your sound so that the envelope of the amplifier cuts off immediately, no release. Even if you have a bunch of release dialed in on your filter envelope, you're not gonna hear that decay. The filter envelope is shaping the frequency content of the sound, and then that sound is going into the amplifier and, and the amplifier actually has control over what you hear. The filter envelope tells the synth what you'd like it to sound like, and the amplifier envelope tells you what you're actually gonna hear. If you're doing something with a, a longer release, it sounds really pleasing to the ear to have your filter envelope set uh, a little shorter than your amplifier envelope. So for instance, a lot of release on the amplifier and a shorter release on the filter. If you set your amp envelope release long enough and your filter envelope release shorter, you can hear that filter sweep down before the sound dies, which is sort of the inverse of what we were looking at earlier, where we had an immediate attack and a gradual attack on the, the filter itself. A couple more uses of envelopes. Depending on your synthesizer, you may be able to take the envelope from your filter, from your amplifier, or potentially even additional envelopes and apply them to other aspects of your sound. For instance, like the frequency or pitch of your sound. So what you can hear is that the filter envelope has an immediate attack and a short decay, and it's basically saying to the synth, start the note a little above the pitch and then quickly get back down to the bass pitch. So let's listen to a longer decay example. Yeah. 
Another thing that you can do with envelopes is shape your square wave into all manners of pulse widths, also known as pulse width modulation. That sounds like this. Okay, so today we took a much closer look at envelopes, what they are, how they work, and how we can use them to shape all aspects of our synth tones. It's a little bit deeper topic, and if you ever find yourself getting lost, getting stuck, just put the attack back to immediate, medium decay, medium sustain, a little bit of release, reset, start over, you'll get back to a sound that works for you, and then just start exploring again. I hope you had fun. My name is Justin DeLay for Reverb.com. Thank you.